Hi hey folks, Elk Rex here, just doing an update. And uh, I thought these, this project would take me a few more days, but well, it's done. I uh, went to town on it and basically got it all done. All right, so what we have here is basically a company, West Low Rangers, and another company or support unit that goes with them. And we'll just go into it. All right, start from the front here. And we got a Pike AC2 carrier. Has three AC2s. You go shooting away. Basically, all I did was my camo scheme that I paint up. Uh, if you want, go into my archives. Uh, I got a uh, painting tutorial, basically how I paint some of my vehicles and some mechs. Basically, did the same thing. Just went to town on them and got them done. And just followed the same steps in there. It's kind of like a nice little archive and how to uh, remember how to paint something uh, over and over again. Just put it in video, make it into a video and put it into a playlist. Uh, these guys are going to be pretty handy for long-range sniping and stuff. Now, this is the uh, Thor artillery. It's going to like a little small artillery piece with a little with two medium lasers up top. Uh, these are not very commonly seen, but you know, they'll get the job done. So it's a little, little vehicle. Uh, I'm looking forward to putting back on the table again sometime in a campaign. And then we got the Shrek PPC carrier. We got a vehicle, 80 ton vehicle that carries three PPCs. Well, doesn't, not to like. Now, this is the Tiger Stripe Desert Camel I was talking about doing. And. So basically, I painted the vehicle with the browns, you know, all the detailing, and then I went through and then just did the tiger stripes on it to uh, break up the, the pattern a little bit. So if you look really close, you can see the actual details, and then you can see the, um, you know, with the tiger stripes and stuff. Now this is the Von Luckner, the AC-20 with an LRM-10. And a laser, or machine guns, SRMs, you name it. It carries a whole bunch of different weapon systems on board. And so, once again, it's the old Tiger Stripe Desert Camo. Went to town on. So, gets the job done. And then we got the Puma. You got your 95 ton vehicle. Carries PPC, a couple medium lasers, a couple LRM-20s. Yeah, decent vehicle. Not very common. Very, very do you seldom have you ever seen one of these on the tabletop. If you did, it's probably in a game where you're playing with Star League stuff. You can uh, punch holes and things pretty quickly. And then we got the Marksman Artillery. More fire support stuff. A little carriage with a large laser on board. So, once again, just your typical desert cam, or not desert camel, but uh, woodland camel. I base this on the German uh, camouflage scheme that you, if you look at any of their stuff, that's kind of what it is. Man. LRM carrier. I also use these as SRM carriers. I mean, it's just it's, the only difference is, is the same chassis, but just different turret. I just call them the same thing. This thing has a bunch of LRM 20s on board. I like to change those out too. When we get around to talking about it, I'll do a little in depth on what I like doing. Hey, then we got the demolisher. Two AC 20s. Desert camo goes out and gets the job done. 
So just your typical 80 ton super heavy tank. And we got the Antos. Another super heavy tank. Lots of weapon systems on it. Uh, this thing actually could do, you could even have more if you had a fusion engine instead of a big turtle combustion engine. Oh. There we go. Alright, so we got that. And then we got the Rommel Patton tanks. Pretty simple. And then we have the uh, Bulldog. This is your this is a 60 tonner Bulldog tank. I love these things. Very useful. You can do lots of stuff. So, very useful in the game. Well, that is the Bulldog. So that's everything with the uh, currently painting update, you know, for all the Battletech uh, vehicles. The only thing that's sitting around here is I got these things right here, which I forgot to keep forgetting to prime them. It's like the other day when we had almost 60 degree temperatures, I forgot to prime those guys. But, yeah, here and over there. It's not like it's a big loss. I got a few of these things sitting around some place uh, in one of my boxes here that are already done. But that's going to be everything for vehicles at the moment for Battletech. I'm going to be moving on and doing some Battletech miniatures. I have uh, 42, yeah, I think it's 42 Battletech mini uh, battle mechs I got to paint up. I got 21 of them in this color scheme, and then I got 21 in the, a green color scheme I got to do up. And we'll go do a video of that here sooner or later. So sometime this week, I'll be working on those. There's a bunch of Battletech stuff coming your way here in, in the next couple weeks. So those will probably keep me busy for a few days. All right, so if you guys want to like and subscribe and pass the word out, you know, all your friends that play Battletech, share and uh, we'll talk with you later. All right, have a good one.